Suddenly in class, today we're breaking up learning with a game. We're going to be looking at some weird Pathfinder 2 spells you probably haven't heard of. I'll give you some info and you try to pick the right choice. Look, you know how your teacher pulls out a movie when she's too sick or hung over to finish lesson prep? It was either doing this or a smasher past the monster manual stream. Don't tip me, I'll do it. Now, are you ready? Let's go. Let's start with an easy one. The cleric gains a very odd focus spell that fills the foe to bursting with food and drink. The effect could be anything from nausea and movement penalties to just a hearty meal. Is it called A, gluttony, B, overstuffed, C, indulgent, or D, forced beast? And yes, this is a real spell in the core rulebook. It's not even some weird adventure path or side story. This is a main spell. It's also a full meal, so the party can survive off this in a pinch. Now lock in that choice, because as I mentioned a few months ago, it is overstep. Indulgence is the god's domain, gluttony is the crime you're inflicting, and forced beast is just a description. But let's continue this theme with bottomless stomach. Spell for everyone except the divine, for there's no gods where we're going. Does this spell A, curse the opponent with endless hunger and weakness, B, turn mouths into bags of holding, C, that you swallow people like a giant frog, or D, that you spew infinite stomach acid. You know, I was originally going to make this question about agonizing despair or inexhaustible cynicism, but this is for weird spells and those are pretty common around here. Now what's strange is storing your weapons, 10 foot poles, and catapult ammunition inside your dog. That's right, it's B, and you can use it on others. Stomp on the rogue's foot and shove bowling balls down their throat. But speaking of horrific ideas, let's go back to the classic clownish curse. This is a rank 4 spell that gives you ridiculous noises and makes you move like you're wearing oversized shoes and gloves. It absolutely kills your ability to sneak and steal and such, but if you critically fail this curse, what extra effect do they add? Do you A, trip comedically when trying to dash, B, make the curse permanent, C, get clown makeup so you can't disguise yourself, or D, become a killer clown with the urge to hunt down your allies? One of those is a light reference because I found out that many of you were brought here by a homestuck playlist of evil clown music. Glad to have ya, please behave. Oh, don't give me that look, I was there, I still have merch, I know what we are like. Anyway, this terrifying spell does nothing on a critical success, but in a shocking twist has the full effect even if you succeed. Failing just makes it go from a round to an hour, or permanent on a crit fail. Don't worry, Remove Curse comes at the same level. Though it might give everyone else a case of Schadenfreude. Making me feel glad that I'm not you. Schadenfreude is also a reaction spell for critically failed spells. But what does it do? Does it A. Give you temporary HP from the morale boost of watching someone fail? B. That you bounce a spell save you failed onto someone else? C. Stun the caster with laughter at watching you fail? Or D. Continue this game of chicken we're playing? I mean, it's been me every time. Will I do it again? Does me calling it out make me more likely to change? Or is this a double bluff? Exactly how good is that insight? I would personally love any of these, but the right one is C. You make them so smug about your failure that they forget the fight's not over. But so far we've been going more fun than weird. So how about we dip into the repulsive? I'm gonna tell you four gross spells. Which one am I lying about? A. Boiling blood literally boils their blood. B. Proliferating eyes let someone see in all directions, making them both immune to flanking and able to search everywhere at once. C. Organ sight displays people's organs before you like a medical chart, improving your medicine skill. Finally, D. Synesthesia lets you distract people by wiring other senses to sound. That is actually a thing, you know. It makes people see sounds as colors and smells and such. Shathfinder has a couple spells like this and paranoia that give people a pop culture version of a medical condition. In this case, however, it's B that's wrong. It's actually a powerful rank 9 spell that creates a spreading infection of invisible eyes that you can see through at any time. Turn dozens of people into unknowing spies for 8 hours. What I described was a different spell called Countless Eyes. But with that, we've made it halfway, so for 6, here's my favorite one. Like, subscribe, comment, or all of the above. Just kidding, that answer's too obvious. Instead, let's break out the eyeshadow and marching gear, because it's time for spells that sound like I'd listen to them in middle school, or high school, or now. Which of these spells doesn't exist? Litany of Self-Interest, Symphony of the Unfettered Heart, Ode to Ouroboros, or Elegy of the Broken Soul? Well, personally, I love something in basically every genre. A lot of my lifelong listening habits have been colored by old AMVs. Kind of funny how some songs get tied to a story no matter how much time goes by. But my eternal binding of Bring Me to Life and Naruto aside, the answer is simple. Litany's are champion spells screaming out your sins, Unfettered Heart is a bardic symphony to remove effects from your allies, Ode to Ouroboros lets you stave off someone's dying saves, and I just thought Elegy of the Broken Soul sounded cool. Speaking of which, For Love, For Lightning is one of the best spell names I've ever seen. Straight from the Knights of Last Wall, what does this do? Does it A, turn your body into a conduit of the storm, dealing massive lightning damage but shocking you as well? B, that you take damage for an ally and retaliate with lightning? C, thrust your weapon to the ground and start zapping people with blood red lightning? Or D, attempt to charm and zap everyone who sees your magnificent summon storm? A and C are as cool as the name, B and D are a bit more literal. It's an uncommon spell too, which means you can't just take this, you need special training for it. I think that makes it even better, you have to learn it from a secret order or a master. It's something that only you will have, which makes it special. Same with the lightning being crimson red. Yeah, it's C, stabbing the ground and arcing blood red lightning like the world is bleeding power. It also has a verbal component, so I like to imagine you're screaming a war cry as lightning smites everything around you. Actually, before we go back to the weird spells, let's do one more round of cool ones. Rage of Elements gave us some amazing elemental spells, but which of these descriptions is wrong? A, beheading buzzsaw has you molding summoned iron into saw blades to make your enemies lose blood or even their head. B, shock to the system revives 
the dead with a bolt of lightning, but also heals, and hastens, and lets them attack with a leftover bolt. C. Pollen pods lets you lay down poisonous trip mines that stupefy with an allergy attack. And D. Eat fire lets you consume a fire attack and belch up a blinding poisonous cloud of smoke in return. I was tempted to also include Tireless Worker, a spell that makes someone forget their fatigue, but doesn't cure it and breaks the caster's knees. But it turns out that last part isn't actually from the spell. It's from the local labor union finding out you've been casting it. The actual lie is the rank 1 spell, Eat Fire. Those other spells are rank 7, so they're allowed to be cool. Eat Fire just gives you some resistance that you can end early by making a tiny cloud of harmless smoke. But now let's dive into the niche of oddly specific. Which of these do not exist in Pathfinder 2e? A. Favorable review, which twists someone's words into becoming compliments toward a topic of your choice for a week. On a critical fail, even permanently changing their actual opinion. B. Is Reign of Frogs, letting you summon swarms of poisonous frogs over someone's head like a plague. Thing is, you can't control them. They'll attack everyone. C. Is Pet Cash. You create a pocket dimension in your cloak or hand, storing your pets away in a comfortable carrier until needed. But you can only pocket willing monster, I mean companions. Let's not anger Nintendo. Instead, let's turn to D. Soothing Spring. This gives your party a hot spring episode, healing and removing fatigue in exchange for an hour of your time and romantic tension. Now, as you might have suspected, I specified Pathfinder 2 for a reason. All of these spells were in at least one edition of Pathfinder. One just got lost in the edition change. Unfortunately, as much as I loved it, I'm talking about Reign of Frogs. Thankfully, Mad Monkeys is still in, which does even better with a swarm of invincible ghost monkeys. But to end things off, let's look at some of the ones that gave me this idea. I'm going to lie about the effects of one spell, tell me which it is. A is Catch Your Name. It lets you know who said your name and where they are. B is Your Mind, which lets you control someone's emotions to the point that you can sometimes even control them. C would be All Is One, One Is All, a spell that evenly divides every willing person's HP. And as mentioned earlier, D is Inexhaustible Cynicism. It makes people paranoid, disconnected from others, and makes them start taking mental damage unless they spend their time trying to prove that the normal things around them are illusions. A fruitless endeavor that hurts you in other ways. If you ever feel that paranoia without a notable source, remember that many conditions like schizophrenia and paranoia don't usually manifest in humans until your 20s or even 30s. If healthcare or insurance is bad in your area, try looking up a mental health clinic that's sliding scale. That means they'll look at your financial situation and lower the price accordingly. There's no harm in getting some help, and trust me, most conditions don't even remotely resemble what people think they are. Uh, anyway, that PSA is irrelevant because the real answer is C. All is one, one is all is instead one of the most fucked up spells I've ever heard of. You slam 10 people into an amorphous ball of flesh and soul, mix them all up, then redistribute them where and how you see fit. So you put them back in any position you want with everyone's HP swapped however you like. This horrific spell is what started this idea. It was scrapped until my attempt at a vacation ended a bit early so I could put out some metaphorical fires. Look, at my viewership level, the algorithm's poll completely dies in 2-3 to three weeks without video. So hopefully you enjoyed this little diversion. The Green Dragon video is already underway and has an emphasis on plant-based dragons. The Magic Plant video will come sometime after, but I'm already researching dragons on another project so I'm trying to multitask. It'll save me time I can use to thank my wonderful patrons of Barrel Goblin, Level 1 Cleric, Modern Masquerade, and Snake Oil. Thanks so much for watching! Class dismissed! Feel all warm and cozy, watching people out in the rain. Schadenfreude, people taking pleasure from your pain.